This is an A.G. Russell Bird and Trout knife. Um, I wasn't going to review this knife probably for a long time except one of my faithful subscribers, Mr. Belagos, uh, asked me about a trout knife fixed blade variety and I thought I'd go ahead while I have the time make this review video really quick. This is a very lightweight outdoor slash trout slash hunting knife that I absolutely love. And I've traveled with this knife quite a bit actually in the great out of doors. And let me tell you what first I love about this blade. First off, the weight. This whole package including the sheath and yes even that metal clasp is only 2.1 ounces. That's amazing. And you get a very good blade with the AG Russell Burton Trout knife. This one is in VG10 steel. He offers it in OS8 and D2 varieties as well. And I've loved this VG10 blade. It's very awesome. I've used it, like I said, and as you can see, a lot. It's skinned many a trout up in the great outdoors. I've skinned a deer with it. It's just outstanding. It's a good knife. First off, the three inch drop point blade is appropriately sized. It's just the right size, if you ask me, for all the tasks you'll have around the campsite in addition to your skinning duties with bird or game I really like it for an outdoor knife I don't mind the drop point blade at all now if we're talking about another uh, type knife like a maybe EDC tactical knife I, I'm not a big fan of the, of the drop point blade however this knife right here as its size is excellent also that Vici 10 steel will take a razor edge and I just touch this up a little bit with steel and remember this is an old blade I've had this blade for five years it's just it's a razor it's awesome it takes a fine edge holds a fine edge and I'm just really pleased with it and it's very corrosion resistant as well so when I refer to VG10 steel and my love for it a lot of my experience is derived from this bird and trout knife by AG Russell the price on this knife isn't overly cheap it's around 50 $55 as of 2008 from AG Russell but I'll, I'm here to tell you for a knife of this utility and the lightweight especially if you're a backpacker it's worth the, the price paid easy to sharpen too and as it came from AG Russell it was adequately sharp and all I did is just steeled it up a little bit to get it razor sharp it's a Sakai, a Sakai Japan blade so the quality as you can imagine is very high has a tiny little handle, don't expect a lot of real estate as far as grasping goes. This is a small knife. It's just a small fixed blade knife. I have no issues with it at all though. It's just very comfortable in use. Little tiny choil, little tiny finger guards. For a skinny knife, it's more than adequate. FRN is the material they used on the handle. It's very rugged. Good checkering on the side. Has a lanyard hole on the side, which I have used because I've taken this knife out on a raft fishing on a high mountain lake with me before so it won't float and that's a downside to the bird and trout it's going to sink like a rock if you drop it therefore sometimes I have affixed a lanyard to it little flat place here if you want to engrave something in there I guess overall very ergonomic super super lightweight now uh, as you skin your fish up in the mountains as I've done with with this knife you know you might see some fixed blade varieties out there that have kind of that spoon attachment on the end of the handle. Um, at first I thought that was a good idea but in my experience it ruins what is otherwise a, a multi-purpose hunting utility knife. I, I don't want to have a spoon on the end of my handle. It's really not necessary. When I skin my trout I'll just take my middle finger for that blood um, near the spine, that blood pocket and I'll just rip it out with one of my fingers or I actually will use one of my polymer spoons which I have with me anyhow and these are the really tough polymer spoons by GSI Outdoors they are very lightweight you can take that spoon just jam it right up against the spine of the fish and just rip all that caca stuff out and it works great so that's even more effective than your finger so I don't want a spoon attachment for my trout knife on my handle not necessary how about the sheath outstanding another good sheath it's polymer has a thumb lock on it. It uh, snaps in with authority. It really holds it in. It's not going to come out accidentally. The only way you're going to release the blade is by purposely pushing that thumb stud and then extracting the blade. Now my variety of sheath, there are two sheaths 
that AG Russell makes for this. It's the same sheath here, but the attachment device is a little bit different. This is the upside down sheath, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but I think it is. And you can just clip this anywhere, and obviously it'll swivel out of the way. With such a light knife, I haven't found that to be a problem. I do want to get the other sheath that AG Russell offers for it. It has a leather thumb loop on or I'm not thumb, but belt loop on it that also swivels, but just backward and forwards, and then you can slip it on your belt. Because this isn't the best belt attachment, I do attach it to a belt loop, and it works okay. Uh, again, with a lightweight utility knife like this, I don't mind if my knife migrates around. It's not a time critical extraction I need for this burden trout knife. So I would give this knife an A for trout filleting. Uh, if you want to go with a bigger knife, or I'm sorry, a bigger fish, and the fish I'm talking about are kind of high mountain trout, the cutthroat, maybe the the brookie variety, where I'm not filleting the fish, this knife is adequate. If I am going to fillet the fish, then I would recommend the Kershaw Model 1250 fillet knife. This is a very inexpensive fillet knife made out of 420 J2 steel, which is a kind of a lower grade stainless steel, low carbon content, high chromium content. It'll go dull quickly, but it also resharpens really quickly as well. So it's not a great steel in this knife. However, if you are fishing for larger trout, this is a great buy. For 10 bucks, for such a lightweight and well-built, flexible, fillet knife, I think it's an outstanding value. Like the Burden Trout, it has a plastic sheath. No way to attach it to your belt, but that's pretty standard for all the fillet knives that, of this size. This is more of a tackle box knife, not a belt knife. Nice handle on it, lightweight. It floats so it won't sink on you. Great job on that. Ergonomic index choil on there. The Model 1250 by Kershaw, I think, is an outstanding fillet value. I will say I haven't used this particular knife, it's relatively new in my inventory, but I will in the future on bigger fish. So you need to ask yourself what size fish am I going to catch? If you're catching a bigger uh, trout then you know you're going to be filleting it out, this would be the way to go. And also when we do do that, on my fillet knife I do like them just like this blade, nice and flexible so I can get that blade down right up against the bone structure and fillet that fillet out, cut that fillet out with a minimal of minimal amount of waste. So that flexible blade is really awesome. Great knife, that Model 1250 fillet knife, especially for the price. Drop it in the water, it floats. I mean, what more can you ask for at that price? Excellent. One thing A.G. Russell did with the Burden Trout is he didn't go that way. He talks about it in the write-up. He didn't want a, a totally flexible blade like the Kershaw I just showed you and actually that's good because by not going with a super flexible blade on the bird and trout it lends itself to other duties camp duties and also skinning a deer out which this knife performed outstandingly I must say it's a great skinner knife you do have to keep it sharp just like all skinny knives but it performed admirably that's the bird and trout knife by AG Russell in VG10 steel its main advantages, and there are several, is it's lightweight. If you're backpacking, this is the knife to take for your utility knife. In fact, on my trips, I take this knife more frequently than any other smaller knife that I have, just because it's so functional and so versatile. And, and that's in addition to my large combat blade, maybe like a Recon Scout, and then if the sh trip short enough to Trailmaster. Um, they do make the larger version of this. That's the Deer knife. I have that. I will review that in a separate review because it's a larger version of the AG Russell Bird and Trout. I would be interested in your experiences in this blade if you decide to get it in a different steel. However, uh, in the steels I'm referring to, at least in 2008, are either D2 or OS8. But for my money, I like the VG10 steel. It's worth the little bit extra money that you'll pay for it especially as a trout knife where you'll be subjecting it to water environments. Good corrosion resistance, really nice blade on it. 2.1 ounces, are you kidding me? Anyways, that's my top recommendation for a small trout knife. Hope you liked it. If I see some other trout knives, Mr. B, I'll post those as well on a review. See ya.